What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, Scorpio, so this is going to be just a general, you guys. We're going to pull some messages from my I Am deck. If anything resonates for you today, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in that personal, you guys, my email will be in the description box below, okay? Also, Scorpio, y'all got to work on my advertising skills, y'all. This is so terrible. So, you guys, I do have a second channel, a Twin Flame channel, okay? And I have been posting over there. I've been doing collective reads. I've done a couple of Scorpio reads, and I've completed four Earth signs, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, and Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? So, please go support your girl and check out the Twin Flame channel, okay? It is Blue Flame, the Twin Flame Goddess, okay? All right, let's go, Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio, you can be feeling very powerful right now. Okay, I feel like you're starting to slowly see how powerful you are. Okay, you've been hearing about how powerful you are. Okay, but you know, it's nothing like sin. Sin is believing for a lot of us. Okay, so I feel like Scorpio, you're starting to step into your emperor, step into your empress energy. Okay, and you're starting to realize that you are powerful, okay? And the more powerful that you realize or the more power that you realize you have, the more things that you can create into your life by manifesting, okay? And then we also have a leader. I'm telling you, Scorpio, you're realizing your power. Because some of you guys, you are a natural-born leader, okay? It's like you're finally stepping into your power so that you can become this leader. Like, this is what you were destined to be this whole time, Scorpio, was a leader. You were supposed to be here to lead and guide the masses, okay, here to help people, Scorpio, it's a lot of people that need healing, okay, just now by reading cards, okay, by other healings, okay, we need healing, like, by crystals, learn about our chakras, how to align everything, learning yoga, meditation, like, there are several ways that you can be a leader and that you can help heal people, okay, meanwhile, on the ring, Scorpio, we have someone, someone over here who is not being uplifted, okay, it's like someone here is being put down is what I feel, okay? It's like someone here is being talked down to or or being talked to like they are nothing, you know what I'm saying? Being talked to like a dog, okay? So you're starting to realize your power. You're stepping into this leader position, okay? And someone here is being dogged out, okay? Let's pull some more. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What do my Scorpios need to know at this time? I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating, don't forget to to like this video, okay? Starting the process. I can't make this up, Scorpio. You are starting this process. You're starting to see that maybe, you know what, Blue Flame? Maybe I am supposed to be a leader. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I am supposed to be doing great things on this earth and leaving my trademark. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, when, when you leave this world, people are going to know who you are, okay? And you're starting this process to becoming this leader, okay? To realizing how powerful that you are, okay? All right, now, come on, Scorpio. Let me get my arm together. All right. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What do my Scorpios need to know at this time? All right, Scorpio, we have success. Man, I can't make this up. And at the end of this process, Scorpio, you are going to be very successful, okay? You're going to have success in love. You're going to have success in career, in your finances, okay? And everything around, everything that you touch, Scorpio, it's like you're going to have the Midas touch, okay? And everything that you touch, everything that you do, baby, is going to be a success, okay? All right. Then we also have doing whatever makes me happy. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, I feel like once you took this leap of faith, because a lot of us, we had a calling, and we didn't even know what our calling was, okay? In order for us to start this process, in order for us to become this leader, we had to first off take a leap of faith. We had to take a step into the unknown, Scorpio. When I started this channel April 7th of 2023, 20, 
I had no idea that a year and a little bit, a little change later, I still would be at this place right now. I would have 45 people that's, that's watching me, that looks for me, you know what I'm saying? That look to to hear my message, that looks for my God, that look for this encouragement. Neither did I know, Scorpio, I would be building relationships with people in Georgia and people in Nevada and people in North Carolina and people all around the world. I have no idea, Scorpio. That is what my calling was to be. I heard this and was praised. I remember hearing things. And readers about people watching you. Y'all, Scorpio, y'all know we crazy. And I was like, people gonna be watching me. How the hell they gonna be watching me? Not knowing y'all was like gonna be literally watching me. Okay, so a lot of us, before we can even start this process, baby, we first had to take that leap of faith. We had to step into the unknown, baby, because we didn't know what Holy Spirit had before us. Okay, but see, Spirit wanted us to trust and believe. That's why it's called stepping into the unknown, because you don't know what's gonna be around the corner you don't know what's behind door number one or door number two but when you have faith in god when you know god got you then you're going to take that leap because you know the universe don't catch you okay and i feel like scorpio is you starting to step into your power baby you know whatever happened okay you don't give a damn about what nobody got to say about what you're doing you out here rocking your crystals you out here with your cars baby you're doing anything that makes you happy and not giving a damn what nobody say okay that's what you're supposed to do okay all right now all right, Scorpio, so let's get into this reading. Hold on, let me just take a little quick little break. Scorpio, my shirt, he rolling up and such. All right, messages for my Scorpios. What do my Scorpios, Holy Spirit, need to know at this time? messages for my scorpios i want to say hello to anyone that is new viewing my channel today anyone that is returning and to all of my bfls out there what is this scorpio welcome to i'm gonna say welcome to my channel i'm just talking y'all <laughs> messages for my scorpios how this year what is it that my beautiful scorpios need to know at this time all right scorpio we have it's on okay look at this scorpio Somebody watching you, okay, and they see Scorpio, they see you out here looking good, and they see you moving on without them, okay? But this person saying, Scorpio, they don't give a damn who you talking to, who you with, Scorpio, this person saying that they are the better choice for you, okay? And this is someone saying, Scorpio, that they are ready to compete for your love, okay? So this could have been someone, Scorpio, that may have felt in the past that you was not worth them competing for okay they ain't want to be competing for your love they wanted you to be out here competing for their love okay but now scorpio this person see you out here being successful they see you out here being this powerful leader and manifesting all these great things in your life now they saying she is scorpio it's on like some popcorn baby and they saying they are coming in scorpio and they don't give a damn who you with this person saying they gonna love you better okay All right, Scorpio, messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more. What do my Scorpios need to know at this time? So, Scorpio, someone here could be starting this process, okay? They're starting this process to learn how to fight for your love, okay? Taking a leap of faith, okay? Someone here, Scorpio, is, is wanting to let go of the past, okay? Can we rewind, okay? I just heard that song by R. Kelly. Can we turn back the hands of time? How the song go? Um, I can't think of the damn song. Anyway, Scorpio, somebody here want to turn back the hands of times. I was going to get a song, a whole new damn tune, okay? <laughs> so I just heard turn back the hands of time. Okay, so somebody here, Scorpio, wants to rewind time and go back before you both were broken down by life, okay? So there was one point in time, Scorpio, she was good in your life. And she was going good for this person, okay? And then, you know, the universe came along and, and the spirit came along. They threw a towel on you. And a lot of unexpected changes happen your way, okay? And I feel like, Scorpio, you kind of go, got in this low vibration energy, and this person was as well, okay? But this is someone that's saying, Scorpio, that your past is holding you back from your future here, okay? So, Spirit, this person, Scorpio, is wanting you to take a leap of faith. This person, Scorpio, could be wanting you to take a leap of faith, and the universe could be wanting you to take a leap of faith, okay? This person, Scorpio, is wanting you to let go. They want you to take that leap of faith, step into the unknown, and let go of the past, okay? Some of us, possibly including me, Scorpio, have still been holding on to the past, how this person treated you in the past. Like, you can't get over how this person treated you. And it's not that I can't get over, Scorpio. I just ain't forgot. 
And because I ain't forgot, I just I just can't, you know what I'm saying? I just don't see it. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying, spirit could be talking to us, wanting us to let go of the past. Because we're going to take a leap of faith. We're going to take a, a leap into the unknown because we don't know what's going to happen once we let go of the past, okay? Once we let go of the past, Scorpio, okay, this person could come in wanting to fight for your love, okay? But as long as we're holding on to the past, we're blocking our future, okay? And I'm saying ah, because I'm probably talking about my damn self too, okay? <laughs> Messages for my Scorpios, okay? Nervous. Ooh, Scorpio, this person is nervous, okay? This person, may, you make this person nervous even just thinking about you, okay? And the reason that this person is nervous, Scorpio, because they don't know what to say to you, okay? They don't know what to say to you. They don't know how to act when they're around you. Like, this is someone, Scorpio, that you got them nervous, okay? You got them shaking in their boots, baby. 10, 10 on the clock when I said that, okay? But I feel like this is someone, Scorpio, the reason why they're nervous, because they want to talk to you. They want to come towards you to see because of how they handled you in the past. They don't know what to do. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. What do my Scorpios need to know? I'm sorry, Scorpio. This person wants to let you know that they are sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. And I'm sorry for all the pain that I caused. You didn't deserve any of that, okay? So this person, Scorpio, could be starting this process of going through this awakening, okay? And while they're going through this awakening, they're starting to see how they treated you, okay? This could have been someone that had a hard time seeing the error in their way, seeing what they did wrong in this connection, okay? This could have been also someone that blamed you, you know what I'm saying? Blamed you for this separation, blamed you for what happened in this connection because they did not want to take accountability for what they did wrong, okay? But now this person, Scorpio, is starting this process, okay? And in this process and going through this awakening, they're starting to realize that they were wrong, okay? And now that they realize they have hurt you, this is someone who wants to apologize, okay? But I feel like this person is nervous, Scorpio, about how to give you this apology, when to give you this apology, even if you're going to be willing to accept this apology because this person knows how they treated you, okay? But this person saying, Scorpio, if you just let go of the past, if you take this leap of faith and let go of the past, Scorpio, I'll be ready to come in and fight for you, you know what I'm saying? But as long as you're holding on to the past and what I did to you, like I can't come in and fight for your love, you know what I'm saying? Let's get one more message, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Holy. Look at this. For some of you guys, this person wants you to unblock them, okay? I miss you, and I want to connect. Please unblock me, okay? This person talking about literally unblock them, okay, from your phone, from Facebook, from Instagram, whatever social media platform, whatever you got to block, or they're talking about energetically, okay? Because energetically, you have blocked this person out of your life, okay? This person wants to speak to you, Scorpio. I can't make this up. This person wants to speak to you, okay? And they have so much to say. So let's see who this is, Scorpio. They want to reach out. Let's get them. Let's get the cards. Hold on. Okay, who is this person, Holy Spirit, that wants to reach out? Who is this person that wants to talk to my beautiful Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. Who is this person, Holy Spirit, that wants to reach out? This could be someone that wear glasses. I keep seeing it. Okay, so your person, Scorpio, can wear glasses. We're going to see if it come out. Who is this person, Scorpio, that wants to reach out? Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Who is this person that wants to reach out and talk to my Scorpios? Who is this person, Holy Spirit, that wants to reach out and talk to my Scorpio, Holy Spirit? Who is this person, Holy Spirit, that wants to reach out and communicate to my Scorpio, Holy Spirit? All right, here we go. All right, Scorpio, this can be a older male, okay? This can be an older male, Scorpio, that, weighed, that, uh, that wears a wave cap, okay? And this could be someone that has short hair, okay? This could also be someone, Scorpio, the age 18 to 20. Who is this person, Holy Spirit, that wants to reach out? All right, Scorpio, this could be someone that wears cowboy boots. <laughs> this could be someone, Scorpio, that wears wigs, okay? What else do we have? I ain't pulling all of them. I'm going to pull. We're going to pull here. And this is the thing that keep on coming out. This is someone 
who wears braces, Scorpio, okay? All right, so let's see the sign. Who is this reading about for my Scorpio? Scorpio, we have Taurus, Pisces, Sag, Virgo. Scorpio, we have Heavy Leo, Scorpio, Virgo. Scorpio, we have Libra, Pi Heavy Pisces, and Virgo as well, okay? All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, Scorpio, stay blessed.